This is a long question stem, but in the end of the day, they're just asking us to figure out how to maximize a certain expression. This expression is made up of two terms. One of them is a constant, it's 500, and that's not going to depend on the value of t. It's always going to be exactly 500. So I think we should focus on the other term, which is negative 20 times the square of t minus 5. Now the square of something will never be negative, but we are multiplying it by something negative. So that means that overall this thing is always going to be negative or at most zero. So if we're trying to maximize the whole expression and we know that the 500 can't be touched, then I guess we'd want the first term to be zero. Like if we can make that negative 20 times the square of t minus 5, if that whole thing could be zero, because it certainly can't be positive, but if it could be zero, that would be the way to maximize the entire expression at, I guess it would be 500. It would, it would end up being zero plus 500 equals 500. So under what circumstances would negative 20 times the square of t minus 5 be zero? Now that would happen if t is 5. So I think that's the answer. I think we want t to be 5. And looking back at the question, it looks like the whole thing started at 2 o'clock. So if you add 5 hours to that, you get to 7 o'clock, which is answer choice B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.